Walking through a cemetery when all of a sudden, I told you I was sick. It will be written on my grave. Game over. Irony. You cannot escape its fatal plan. Born. It's all your fault, Anne. We found this in the cemetery. Stuff that people asked to have on their tombstone, those are all real. I see dumb people, drink water, some warnings are more ominous than others. I came here without being consulted, and I leave without my consent. He loved bacon. Oh, and his wife and kids too. I would like to know the backstory. I would not. They are in that cage for a reason. Janet M. If you can read this, you are standing on my boobs. Hey man, this is kinda rude to put on your gravestone. I was hoping for a pyramid. Rest in peace. Here lies Ben, whose life was full until he tried to milk a ball. I always wanted to find you, Waldo, but not like this. Not like that. I had a dream I died, and this was my headstone. Heart attack. When you complain about wanting to die every day, and it finally happens. Have a seat, Jackson. Jackson. Didn't really listen though, did he? He's more so lying down. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Bird Rand J. Nice Guy. Burger. And guess what it says at the back? Fries. What is the most British thing you could put on your gravestone? Ran out of tea. When you die unexpectedly. What the hell? Don't laugh. You're next. No, I'm not. Joke's over. Let me out now. Hey, here lies Henry Blake. He stepped on the gas instead of the brake. Here lies Byron Vickers. Died October 10th, 1887. Second fastest draw in New Austin. Wait, dial who? Am I supposed to dial your number on this? Where's the name? I told you I was sick, and I was sick of hearing it. In memory. Hehehe. <laughs> A man named Walter Summerford was struck by lightning three times in his life. After his death, his gravestone was also struck. Don't worry, I regenerated. Life sucks, then you die. Pool, present to eternity. Do you notice how it looks like a smiley face too? When I die, my tombstone won't say rip. It will say VIP. That's because they reserved a special place in hell for you. Yeah, the throne. I uh, found him. Waldo, for rent. A very small one bedroom. Neighbors are dead quiet. Stupid, I'm with stupid. When I said I want to get back to the earth. This isn't what I meant. Faults I may have. Being wrong is not one of them. Rest in peace. Please deactivate my Facebook. Robert Clay Allison, 1840 to 87. He never killed a man that did not need killing. Care to explain? <laughs> Psychic Rita Kasilov, 1937 to 2005. Five dollar palm reading. Sucks to be me. But think of me and smile. Glass headstones. Imagine a graveyard full of these on a sunny day. It would be so beautiful. I would position mine so that every day when the sun was in the right position, it would set fire to the roof of someone I hated, thus achieving revenge from beyond the graves every single day. There are two kinds of people. If you don't put this on my gravestone, I'm not dying. Respawning in three, two, one. Connection error. Raised four beautiful daughters and only one bathroom, and still there was love. Visiting my grandma's grave and found this on a tombstone nearby. Now I know something you don't. That's an unusually fun tombstone. Dead. I like it. Creative. Go away. Joan Hackett. Go away. I'm asleep. A gravestone commissioned by a widow to express her eternal and unbound love for her deceased husband. What if I made my husband's grave about me? Horrifying graveyard ghost caught on camera. Scariest thing I've ever seen. I was literally ready to scream and pee my pants and then, when I die, this is the best headstone I can hope for. He was an asshole, but he was a funny asshole. Here lies Scotty Five for fooling around with the marshal's wife. Fox sleeping in a graveyard. Makes me wonder about reincarnation. Makes me wonder about soulmates. Makes me think that dark stone probably soaks up sunlight and that's the warmest place around for a fox nab. Spanx. Arthur spanks his wife Catherine. Damn, it's dark down here. Short and sweet. Sucks to be me. Joel Dermid. My loss, but your gain. Rest in peace Harvey Ball, the inventor of the smiley face. Okay, it's sad that he died, but this is the funniest headstone I've ever seen. In Japan, it's common to find QR codes on cemetery headstones. You can scan the code and then watch a video of the person's life. I too would like a highlight reel on my headstone when I die. My dying wish is that I have a Shrek headstone so that he is always protecting my swamp. The doctor said I would not live past my teen years. Lol. 1930 to 2013. A gay Vietnam veteran. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a discharge for loving one. Haha, <laughs> cemetery. Putting the fun in funeral. Worst Halloween decorations for a retirement home I've ever seen. What's the Wi Fi password? Spider Man mods have gone too far this time. Play as Spider Man's dead uncle's gravestone with this messed up mod. Someone built a real tombstone of Internet Explorer in Korea. He was a good tool to 
download other browsers. I finally kicked the habit. For good. Here lies a lazy bum. You finally get to lay in one place and not move at all, like you've always wanted. Are you happy now? No, come back. Here lies good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. Rest in peace. A lot of the old ones seem to roam. Any day above ground is a good day. Yeah, so this kid apparently found out Santa Claus wasn't real by checking his grave. It gets worse from there. Reader, beware as you pass by. As you are now, so once was I. As I am now, so you will be. Therefore prepare to follow me. Wow, this is scary as hell. I actually love this. Woodstock. Woodstock, one hell of a cad. Often mistaken for a meatloaf. If I die, put nothing is set in stone on my gravestone. Both a paradox and a reminder that I will be back. Your what? If. If they want to come back. The gravestone of Elijah Bond, the man who patented the Ouija board. I'm putting free Wi-Fi on my gravestone so people will come visit me. May he rest in suspense. Hitchcock. Gloria M. Russell. I'm just resting my eyes. This memorial is dedicated to Doc Holliday, who is buried someplace in this cemetery. Joseph Ostock, 1912 to 1983. Don't talk so damn dumb. She always said her feet were killing her, but no one believed her. Leslie Nielsen. Let her rip. Now I really am between a rock and a hard place. If you lived here, you would be home now. I laughed too hard at this one. I voted. The chicken. He forgot to look both ways before crossing the road. Rip. Loss. Billy Wilder. I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. There's a 10 year old in all of us. Yep, it does look like a pee pee. And his name is Bo- I don't think it's one, it's a collective of people. Edith Tina Barlow. Shit happens. Here lies Steve and Anya. In eternal bliss, Mastercard and Visa are still looking for the payments they missed. Ma loves Pa. Pa loves woman. Ma caught Pa with two in swimming. Here lies Pa. Lost life by stab in falling on ink eraser, evading six young women trying to give him a birthday kiss in office metropolitan life building. New generation tombstone. Millions of raiders request the same tombstone. Backside of my mom's grave. Every time someone asked for her cookie recipe, she said, over my dead body. I carved it so it can stay forever. Gandalf. Here lies an atheist. All dressed up and no place to go. Here lies John Yeast. Pardon me for not rising. You get it? Cause yeast rises. Ha <laughs> ha. Merv Griffin. I will not be right back after this message. John will never recover from that one. For my love, cherished husband, dad, and adulterer. Yes, John. I knew. This is how it feels to join a dead fandom. This is what happens when your best friend plans your funeral. Lame. Gravestones in about 50 years. F. Someday, everyone will be able to immediately pick out all the millennial gravestones because everyone else's will be like, loving husband, wings of angels, and ours will be like, thank god. A very good boy. 1995 to 2064. Nice. She died doing what she loved, being murdered. Brock. I owe it all to sardines. Lola's halt. Oh well, whatever. I want this on my tombstone. I am not dead. I am dormant. See you soon. This is my uncle in 1984. Look at those anime looks. Rest in peace to his mother and father. Jesus called and Kim answered. Susan Melody Blanchard. Destined to be a woman with too many cats. Here lies the man who discovered dynamite. And here. Here also. More, more. Here some more. And here. Is he dead? yet. Here I lie, but don't you cry, for one day too, you will die. Cecil Odile Eads. My brother was good at annoying people. I was supposed to live to be 102 and be shot by a jealous husband. Here lies Scott, left here to rot. Here lies the body of Edward Hyde. We laid him here because he died. Gen Zia headstone made into a phone because she was always on it. I don't know how I feel about this. Anyone dying young is just sad. Pub will pay for your headstone if you die taking on the 12,000 calorie burger challenge. You had my curiosity, but now you have my full attention. Adam Joseph J. Adams to atoms. I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. I'd rather be reading this. Here lies the shell, but the nut is gone. I made some good deals, and I made some bad ones. I really went in the hole with this one. The tide is high, and so am I. You know what they need to start adding on gravestones? Or optional, how they die. I think that'd be quite interesting. Uncle Walter loved to spend. He had no money in the end, but many a whiskey and many a wife. He really did enjoy enjoy his life. Another one bites the dust. What in the hell did they do with the rest of him? His peepee. -pee. Rodney Dangerfield. There goes the neighborhood. Bye. See you later. See you soon, actually. Oh no, I don't mean it like that. This is such a cool tombstone. A rocket? I'll be back. Near this spot, Samuel Whitmore, then 80 
years old, killed three British soldiers. He was shot bayoneted, beaten, and left for dead, but recovered and lived to be 98 years of age. What a beast. Killed 99 bears. A fact that, if actually accomplished, should be put on a tombstone. My favorite part is, we hoped he has gone to rest. What? Like, they weren't sure? Maybe, if ever the bear uprising should start again, he would rise from the ground to finish what he started and slay that 100th bear. Was this man so powerful that they are concerned he might not have decided to rest at all and is simply biding his time? The bears made that tombstone a warning and a prayer that he really, truly stays down. This is too cool not to like. I had 99 problems and they were all bears, so I killed them. Lucifer, till we meet again. Herman Harband. My wife Eleanor Arthur of Queens, New York, NY, lived like a princess for 20 years, traveling the world with the best of everything. When I went blind, she tried to poison me, took all my money, all of my medication, and left me in the dark alone and sick. It's a miracle I escaped, because I won't see her in heaven, because she's surely going to hell. How long does someone have to be dead before it's considered archaeology instead of grave robbing? As an archaeologist, I find this a very awkward question. Answer the question, grave robber. TikToker goes viral for baking recipes she finds on local gravestones, stating that they're to die for. I mean, if they're on the back of a gravestone, they must be really good. Late one night Jag takes a shortcut through the cemetery. Hearing a tapping sound, he becomes scared and quickens his pace. The tapping gets louder, and Jack is now scared out of his wits. Then he notices a man chiseling a tombstone. Thank goodness, Jack says to the man. You gave me a fright of my life. Why are you working so late? They spelled my name wrong. If they offered you $80 an hour to clean the cemetery alone, to 10 p.m. to 5 a.m., you're taking the job. 80 an hour? You got me messed up thinking I'm going to refuse that. I'm making sure each one of those tombs are spotless with the finest holy water. Is Annabelle trying to visit her friend? Aisle 6, row 3. Might get haunted, but I'm leaving each shift in a Bentley with Casper and his homies in the bag. Fudge recipe on a headstone. I feel like I should make this just to be able to say a dead person taught me how to make it. Maybe I'll do it for Halloween. I desperately hope that she spent her entire life telling people they could have her fudge recipe over my dead body. Died from not forwarding that text message to 10 people. Man, I used to hate those messages as a kid. They would scare me. They would actually scare me. QR codes have been popping up in cemeteries. When you scan a code on a gravestone, you can read an obituary and see photos of the deceased. 2,000 years later, the strange glyphs appearing on gravestones from the early 21st century onwards remain a mystery. These outstandingly complex patterns, no two are the same, have been found on many other 21st century artifacts and are believed to have religious significance. This is probably how it will go. Can I legally have my body divided into fifths upon my death and be buried in five separate cemeteries? That just made me think of something. If you have multiple personalities and they all wanted to be buried in separate cemeteries, what are you doing? Would the body be split up or would people go against their wishes and bury them in one cemetery? That's not why I'm doing this, but that's an interesting question too. Why are you doing this then? Left arm of the forbidden one. Marguerite McCool. Left once, buried twice. After succumbing to a fever of some sort in 1705, Irish woman Marguerite McCool was hastily buried to prevent the spread of whatever had done her in. She was buried with a valuable ring, which her husband had been unable to remove due to the swelling. This made her an even better target for body snatchers, who could cash in on both corpse and the ring. The evening after she was buried, before the soil had even settled, the grave robbers showed up and started digging. Unable to pry the ring off the finger, they decided to cut the finger. As soon as blood was drawn, Marguerite awoke from her coma, sat straight up, and screamed. The fate of the grave robbers remained unknown. One story says the men dropped dead on the spot, while another claims they fled and never returned to their chosen profession. Marguerite climbed out of the hole and made her way back home. Her husband, John, a doctor, was at home with the children when he had heard a knock at the door. He told the children, if your mother was still alive, I would swear that was her knock. When he opened the door to find his wife standing there, dressed in her burial clothes, blood dripping from her finger, but very much alive. He dropped dead to the floor. He was buried in the plot she had vacated. She went on to remarry and have several children. When she did finally die, she returned to the same cemetery where her gravestone still stands. It bears the inscription, lived once, buried twice. What did I just read? Irish women are strong as fuck. Historians in Ireland have discovered what they believe to be the headstone of the world's oldest living man. He was 193 and his name was Miles from Dublin. Miles, tell us the secret from your grave, field of dreams. No matter what your dreams are, you are going to end up in one of these. That's why you gotta make the most of life. And don't stress, 
Liv. I just wanted to say my son was a huge Yu-Gi-Oh collector, and so when he passed away in April this year, it seemed only right his headstone reflected this. It's a huge stone, and we are pleased with it, as he would have been. The trickster king becomes a card himself. You pre-bought tombstones for all of us? I had a coupon. It would have been stupid not to. I wrote my own. It's all downhill from here. How do you know- I just know. White beard. 267 sword wounds, 152 bullets, 46 cannonballs, hole in chest, and half his face melted off. If I die, just engrave whatever text post of mine got the highest notes on my tombstone. Technically true. This was your most successful post. Unknown men died eating library paste. July 14th, 1908. The anniversary of the library paste man's death is in four days. The anniversary is today. It's not actually today, but it will be soon, depending on when you watch this video. Joseph Joestar, born 1920, dead 1939. Man was alive for nine years. Peanut butter and bacon sandwiches are gluten and cholesterol free. There is a peanut butter cookie recipe on the back of this grave. That's all folks. Mel Blanc, man of 1000 voices, beloved husband and father. 1000 voices, as in like he can speak a thousand different ways or he's schizophrenic. Either way, that's pretty cool. Me, finding Tony Hawk's tombstone in like 30 years. Wow, this guy has the exact same name as Tony Hawk. Disney not letting a child have a Spider-Man tombstone. Screw you 3000. A dad designed a tombstone of his paralyzed son climbing out of his wheelchair and reaching for the sky. The perfect gravestone for dogs doesn't exist. Buddy, 1920 to 1941. Born a dog, died a gentleman. The ancient Greeks and Roman would make gravestones for their deceased dogs. One read, I am in tears while carrying you to your last resting place, as much as I rejoiced when bringing you home in my own hands 15 years ago. If you did enjoy, subscribe. We're trying to hit 2 million by the end of the year. And drop some ideas if you have any, because I'm open. I'm open to all ideas. Take care.